Video. Obviously, we're going to have a quick look at the ZX Spectrum car on the mist. So, obviously, we load the card, switch this on. If you've seen any of the other videos I've done on the mist, you'll know my stupid monitor always goes to HDMI when you when you switch the mist off. So, I'll just switch the monitor off, switch it back on, and obviously, we are, as you can see, in 48K Basic. This one is configured to use EXC DOS, which stuff like the Div MMC uses. So to load a game, you basically press that button. You go to Trigger Non-Masked Interrupt. We get rid of the specy menu. Obviously, we go down to. As you can see, we've got all the games listed. So we go to Games. Let's find something. Do, 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 do. for our type. We'll do it without cheating. What I do like about this car is the fact that it emulates the original 120k Spectrum before Amstrad got its dirty little hands on it and created the plus 2, plus 2A, plus 2B or plus 3. So, as I said, that is one reason I do like this. Again, whoever's wrote, wrote this car has done a really good job. He, obviously, as you can see from the video, you've just got the two joystick ports there. I haven't changed anything in between from doing any of the other videos. Obviously, I'm still using the boomerang. So, you're pressing your key, obviously, it loads the level. Pressing your key again. Do press enter to select, so we go left. Okay, so we go left, right, up, down, fire, detach. I've never really got that power type. And you get the authentic specky graphics and specky sounds. To load another game, you just do that. Trigger non masked interrupt. Get rid of the menu again. And we'll go for something else. Let's see. We'll go for Swift. And as you can hear, you have the original 128k music. So, that's basically, as I said, the Spectrum one is fairly rudimentary. The reason I um, used ExoDOS with this was the fact that, <laughs> obviously having the Windows emulator for the Spectrum as well, I don't have any CSW files and to be honest, I'm not sure what CSWs are. I know there's some sort of ROM image, but it's it's something I've I've never really come across. So so if we hit. It's the only problem sometimes the joystick doesn't actually that doesn't sometimes work with it. But thank you for watching this video and um, comment, subscribe, like, whatever. As I said you can also see me all a couple of videos on this thing. The Spectrum and the Amiga one. I am gonna do a CPC one as well. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.